fine. And if you won't say it, I will. Say what? That we're over? <gasps> I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Y'all, it is hotter than Jeremiah and Conrad combined in here. Please. Please. <laughs> Ooh. Got some fun little picturesque cards here to keep myself somewhat cool. Not working great, but it is what it is. What's up guys? Hey, 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 it's Tajanae, and I hope that you all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to Talks with Taj, or welcome to Talks with Taj if it's your first time here. Hello, my name is Tajanae Turner, and I am an actress based in Los Angeles, California. Today we are going to be reacting to episode three of The Summer I Turned Pretty. I have been waiting, and everybody has been talking about it and been so excited and posting their videos next day, and I'm like, bruh, the style of videos that I post don't allow me that luxury, you know? I gotta, I gotta spend a couple days to get the edits out, you know, with the memes and whatnot. I, of course, do the full duration of the shows and I post those on my Patreon. If you guys wanna subscribe to that, you can watch right along with me moment to moment without any interruptions. But right now I am wearing this thrifted Susanna style outfit. I miss her so much, I'm so sad that she's gone. I still haven't processed the fact that they killed her off. Like, she brought such sunshine to the series, and she still does in the flashbacks and everything, but I just, I don't know why I thought the series was gonna be different. I don't know why I thought they were gonna keep her alive. Uh, but I guess it is a very pivotal point in Belly's life, so you can't keep Susanna alive and still have the story be the same, so. Yeah. Before we begin, I do have some thoughts. Someone commented on my last video, the minute Jeremiah became toxic was when I was like, oh, we're here for it. And the thing is, he was giving to me not because he became toxic, but because it was the first time that I felt like Jeremiah got out of his kid, ugh, I don't know how to describe it. It was the first time I saw Jeremiah kind of stand up for himself, if that makes sense. I feel like last season, so much of a light was shown on Conrad and we didn't really get to see much of Jeremiah outside of him showcasing Belly. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate in the comments for this. But I feel bad for Jeremiah. I feel so bad for him. Do I ship him with Belly? No, not necessarily, because I think that they have a beautiful friendship and that they work great together as friends. But in a relationship, the vibes just don't seem right to me, if that makes sense. I'm all for Jeremiah's happiness, I'm all for Belly's happiness, but I do think, as a unit, they should be just best friends. I just think we didn't get a lot of moments of Jer last season where he was kind of... I guess he was kind of pouty, but I feel like the man had a reason to be. Like, his childhood and current best friend kissed his brother immediately after he found out that his mom was dying of cancer. And on top of that, his brother knew the whole time and didn't say anything to him. If I was Jer, I would be just as livid. Now, the, the moment where he's clapping and he's like, good for you, Belly, you got just what you wanted. That was a little bit immature, of course. But I mean, Conrad got to have his moments of grief and expressing it through, you know, his broodiness all of season one. So I think it's fair for Jeremiah to express his grief. That's really bad news to get after you hear about Susanna. And I know that a lot of you guys were saying like, Jer knew that Belly liked Conrad this whole time. Jer didn't even like Belly until he found out that Conrad liked Belly. I think Jer, from the moment he saw her that summer, like right away, but no, I don't know. He was saying he's always thought about it, but he never thought that he had a chance because she always liked Conrad, but because she was like, oh, I'm gonna give Cam a chance, I think he thought that he had an opening because he was like, oh, well, she's opening herself up to other guys. Now is my chance. I have a strong chance. She's my best friend. Like, let's make this happen, you know? I think he thought Conrad was out of the picture. But then again, I don't know, the whole fireworks situation, I think that upset him because he thought he might have had a shot. I don't know. The whole situation is extremely complicated. We all know this. I'm essentially here to say that I'm not here to support the toxic behavior, the immature behavior, but I do understand where Jer's frustration was coming from, and he did make a lot of valid points. Conrad's reaction to the situation, I'm honestly surprised he didn't freak out more. Like, I was like, if I was Conrad, and Belly liked me her entire life, and then the minute she was like, oh, well, I can't have you, I'll just have your brother. I, if I was Conrad, I'd be more upset. So I don't know. I, there's no right way to react to these situations. You gotta remember, these are kids. They're going through things. They're learning. They're growing. And I don't expect them to have top-tier communication skills quite yet, you know? And honestly, it allows us to see how much they have grown between last season and this season. I don't know, you guys. It's gonna be really hard for me to get my thoughts together because I haven't had my caffeine today. <laughs> I don't know what to expect in this episode. All I know is that last episode we ended with Conrad looking... I don't want to say it, but 
my man's was giving me a little bit unstable. He was giving disheveled. Is he good? Like, is is our man's good? Because I was genuinely concerned for his well-being. What else could they possibly put this poor boy through? All right, I mean, Jeremiah's going through it this season. Conrad went through it last season. Now he's going through it again. Jeremiah's going through it currently because Veli is in his immediate vicinity and it's bringing back all these painful memories from last summer. We're struggling, we're having a bit of a rough time. I'm excited to jump on into this and to get to episode four because I heard Cam's in it, so. You guys already know that I'm here for Cam. I mean, of course I'm here for Conrad and for Belly and for Jeremiah, but like, I'm mostly here for Cam, let's be real. Um, <laughs> let's get on into it. Honestly, Jenny Ann said that she might change who Belly's love interest is at the end of the day, and if it's Cam, I was gonna say I won't even be mad, but I would be because she hurt him. And my girl's not about to do that again. But I wouldn't be mad seeing them together again because that means Cam gets more screen time. Anyways, okay, we all know I love David. Let's let's just get into it. If you guys haven't already, please don't hesitate to dance on over to that subscribe button. Give it a little tappy tap so you can join our ever-growing family. Please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I love hearing your guys' thoughts and I love responding to you all. And I really enjoy getting to have that open conversation with you guys. Thank you so much for all of you who have shared things with me. Also, thank you to those of you who have been leaving such sweet comments and for supporting me on the Patreon and just making me remember that that the content that I create is so much bigger than myself and that it does impact people in a positive way. So thank you for helping me remember that and recognize that. And I love you all so, so much. That's shit. So without further ado, let's get on into it before I melt. I'm terrified, but excited. Ah. See, on this summer I turned pretty. Billy, ah. you were my best friend. We hooked up. I, it, it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't seem right to me. And then everyone expected me to act like I was fine. And I wasn't. He wasn't fine. So this is why you haven't answered any of my phone calls and texts. We're gonna lose this house. Mom's house. He sounds more formal. Why does he sound more formal? Our Aunt Julia is. Apparently the house belonged to the both of them. Now Aunt Julia owns the whole thing. What? And he says legally the house is hers. He'll buy it. He doesn't have the money to buy it. Brown and the medical bills and the- Yeah, I know how much the medical bills cost because I was there. Oh, wow. Was he not? Was he not? How long did you know about this and not tell me? Oh, not Conrad being the one that's always keeping secrets. And this is you taking care of it? Going AWOL, ditching school? School, I don't care. Honey, how- <laughs> oh. How are you gonna become a doctor if you fail out of college, Conrad? I'm scared. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like he's gonna say something oh. rude. You have no idea what you're talking about. What's happening? What happened? We went to Brown to check on your but you don't give a shit about anyone but yourself. Uh, God, why does he look like that? I'm bad at oh, He needs God. some milk. I'm concerned. He won't even look at me. Exactly. It's for sale. And Jerry doesn't even care. He does care. After everything that happened. They only have each other, really. You go missing? <gasps> he thought something really bad happened to you. I got a call two days ago from Liam. Who's Liam? He's asking me about a for sale sign in our front yard. No. Yes. Seeing that sign was like losing her all over again, and I didn't want that mm. for a chair. Mm. I'm going to use my trust as down payment for the house. His trust? <gasps> That's so sweet. You guys can go. If Jer wants to stay here and help figure things out, that is his decision. And you don't get to make it for him. Ooh. I didn't think Belly could even talk to Conrad like that, to be fair. Ooh. I don't want to say I didn't think she had it in her. No, but she, she's gotten snappy with people in the past. You spent your Saturday night crashing my first date for fun. I thought you said that Deb balls are bullsh** and all Debs are she. Oh, he spent an entire chapter talking about Draco's wand. Bro. She has, she has, I forgot. You never know the last time you'll see a place, a person. That's so true. Chair bear. Is it just me or does he look like Cameron from Bratz? My mom would always fix everything up before we got here. Not, no, let's not sit on the bed. Yeah. Let's... The house feels different without her in it. And what is he even talking about with this whole house thing? I think it's for real. Oh, he's going through it, man. You're just gonna sleep on it like that, aren't you? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> he's gonna ask her to stay. Hey, Belly. Oh, no. Wait a minute, hold on. Ew, he's on there in the dirty clothes yeah. from the, uh. Um, thank you for coming with me. Not a heart to heart. 
I don't know what went down between you and Conrad. He doesn't know? We don't talk about you. <gasps> we don't talk about you. Oh. I know it couldn't be easy to be here. Oh. I'm glad I don't have to do this alone. Oh, he's so sweet. Back home, I can almost believe Susanna isn't really gone. But here, she's everywhere and nowhere. Mm. That was a good dive. She did volleyball and swimming. Oh, not the the flashbacks to season one. I still think you should quit. What do you give me if I do? You still pretend you're in the Olympics? Uh, no, not not anymore. When you swim, I don't think you'd notice if the house was on fire. You're so into what you're doing. It's like you're someplace else. That's what I like about it. Is he gone? I know, but you're sure there's no way to access my trust without it. Oh, without his dad? Oh, God. Guys, I'm scared. Okay. Yep. It's Thank so you. humid in here, my hair is shrinking. <laughs> Aunt Julie is already here. Oh, is that... The mom of the new character? She couldn't be bothered to come to mom's funeral, but she'll hop on the first flight to come sell this place. What? I don't get it. Why? Because I want money. And because I don't care about you. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Go back to bed and let me do it. Ooh. He's so mean sometimes. He treats Jer like a baby, like he can't handle anything. He's always hiding stuff from him. Did you get your tux yet? What's this? What's... Oh, no. I saw time, right? Bro, bro, bro. We have to pitch in if we want to get that hotel suite with Taylor and her date. Mm -hmm. Wow. Talking about getting a hotel room right in front of me? I must be a cool mom now. No. So not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. He's checked out. Do you want me to order your tux? No, no, I got it. It's crazy how you can notice the difference between how he speaks softly yeah, I just forgot the date. And then later, he's got a much more cold, articulate tone to him. Doctors are considering putting her on new meds, which must mean that the current ones stop working. <sighs> Sir, I'm not trying to worry you. No, 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 stop. You can talk to me about anything, especially Suzanne. I'm sure the new meds just mean she's doing better and she needs a smaller dose. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I didn't know it then but I was already losing him. Oh, no. Conrad may have listened to me at one point, but I don't think he cares what I think anymore. It's not true. He's going through it. He just, he carries the weight. He absorbs it. The emotions, the feelings of others. And Susanna used to have this place filled to the brim before we got here. We're gonna go find Aunt Julia. All right. I thought they said Aunt Julia was already here. They didn't mean at the house? Well, we haven't seen her, so obviously not at the house. Everything's okay, thanks for checking in. I'm headed to the train station. Uh, kick or, I mean, you know, whatever you're supposed to do with these things. <laughs> hey, have you heard from Belly today? Mom, I actually got her up to three word answers this morning, so she's coming around. He's covering for her, that's sweet. He also doesn't want to worry his mom because she has her book thing to go to, which is considerate of him. It would be nice if you could put your clothes away. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Mwah. Safe travels, okay? Don't forget. I won't. He's gonna forget. Is this Taylor? Ah! She looks so good. I do kind of like the blonde. It's growing on me. Ugh. What do you want, Steven? <laughs> I'm going to Cousins. I, I thought you said that you were gonna let Belly handle this on her own. Conrad called and asked me to come. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Um, okay, they need me. Oh my god, they're gonna get together because they're all gonna be there. Belly's still being sad over Conrad. I mean, the two of them there together, that's, you know... It's actually... Good point. Kind of sweet of you. <laughs> well, what are you gonna tell Laura, okay? Because I can't cover for both of you. I'm stressed out about this. <laughs> She's going out of town for a couple days for some book thing. I just, I just wanted to let you know. Cool. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm coming with you, actually. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm telling you. Uh, why? I thought you hated cousins. I don't hate cousins. I hate annoying rich people who leave me naked in the woods. She, she's gonna point. I mean, I guess splitting the driving time with someone wouldn't be the worst. Oh, Steven, stop. You love her. But, but. I'm leaving, like, right now, okay? 
I thought I was going to hate this dynamic, but Taylor, she's been a much better friend this season. I'm going to send you a list of things to pack for Belly. Okay, because I'm sure that she's been in like the same big t-shirt this entire time. Yeah. Facts, facts. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's so yeah. nice of her. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to tell Belly that she's on the way. So what's our game plan with Julia, huh? Sneak attack. Not them being cute. Murder. I was thinking that we just played to my strengths. Hence the flowers. I was going to say, what's the flowers? What are the flowers about? You know, I wish I had more to go on, but she and my mom weren't exactly close. Is it just me or do they always put Jer in the perfect outfits to compliment his eyes? Or maybe his eyes are just always complimentary with anything, you know? Yes. And knowing Conrad, he probably took the righteous anger route. Yeah, Conrad's never been good at putting on a happy face when he's not feeling it. Okay, let's get the boys in here too. Oh, not prom. About time. Oh no. So excited. I know. I'm scared. I'm scared. He's gonna be sad on prom day. No. I want the back of Belly's hair, not just the front. <laughs> back. <laughs> so cute. I'm sorry, Laura, but you suck at taking pictures. Hey, <laughs> mom. Let me see their corsages. Uh oh. He forgot our corsage. What's wrong? I don't have your corsage. <gasps> no. It's okay. I'm heading up to you tomorrow. First thing. Yeah, let me see. Are the flowers supposed to be significant for something? She's got on the necklace. You'll just have to get me two corsages next year to make up for it. Aww. Wear one on your dress. It's whatever you want. He looks so sad. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. You gonna ask my sister to dance or what, Fisher? Ooh. Not Steven having to step in. Uh, we don't have to if you don't want to. Beautiful. I feel like in movies and TV shows, the proms are always so well lit and bright and romantic. All the proms that I had at my school were like dark and just strobe lights, but there wasn't any of this romantic, cute look happening. That just wasn't a thing. I'm glad you're here. It's me too. Do you want to go somewhere? Um. No. Go somewhere we can talk. He's making her leave her prom. No, let's not go anywhere. Let's just let's let's stay here for a while. All right. I just might go back to school tonight. I have an exam on Monday and everything. What are you talking about? I thought you were spending the night. If I stay, I'm just gonna ruin the rest of the night for you. I don't want to do that. Did I? Did I do something? What does this remind me of? What have I done wrong? What mistake did I make? You made no mistake. Then Charlotte. what is it? What is so wrong with me? I think that's what it's giving. Ooh. All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. Y'all. I know this is hard with everything going on. Please don't shut me out. All I've done today is disappoint you. You don't deserve that. And just stop acting like this and come back and stop me. He's not acting like that on purpose. He can't help it. I just can't. No, don't abandon her. Oh, God. Fine. Then if you won't say it, I will. Say what? That we're over? <gasps> I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, no. No, no, no. Billy, don't leave it like this. <laughs> you, you were the one leaving it like this. This acting. No, no. No, she gave him the necklace. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he <laughs> up. Oh, I didn't want to cry, guys. <sighs> the way he holds her hand. He really just left. Oh God! Please don't get in an accident. Conrad just pushes people away when he needs them most. Oh my God! Oh my God! No. There's only so many times I can take being pushed. Did they get back together after that and then it fell apart again or was that just it and that's just the way things were left because there was still the funeral right can i help you and julia oh my god <laughs> is that the woman from game plan <laughs> go boston 
Christian! It's been so long. Yeah. You've really got my dad's eyes. <laughs> I was just wondering if we could have a second to talk. Is this about the house? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're gonna have an open house tomorrow. You have to know how, how much the house means to Jeremiah and Conrad and me and my family. I mean, you spent summers there as a kid, right? A few, yeah. Why would you want to let go of such a, a, a magical place? Maybe it wasn't magical for her. Maybe it was dark. I remember Susanna calling it that. I don't understand how you can just get rid of something your sister loves so much. It's, it's not personal. Like... She didn't show up to her funeral. Are you suggesting that I gift the house to you? I mean, no, no, of course our... not. Ooh, I, I think you and your brother should sort this out with your dad. I'm certain that you have the resources, but I can't put off a sale while I wait for you to get your ducks in a row. I have to be back at work in a week. So that's why you didn't make it to the funeral? <laughs> Oh my god! Something like that. What is the tea? Well, yeah. Guy, I, I didn't know you were here. This is Belly. Um. Thanks for stopping by. Have, have a good. Oh, that went well. <sighs> this is rough. I'm still not over the prom scene. I'm still not over it. You had to try. No, Belly. Ah oh, sh. Here we go again. Billy, why would you grab his hand? That's not cool. It's all up to Conrad now, or whether or not he can convince Dad to dip into his trust. So bad between them? I mean, he cheated on Susanna during her chemo, so. Does Jeremiah still not know about that? I'm sick of fighting with him. All right, then with Adam here, you two need to be on the same team. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, Taylor? Steven? Volleyball girls group chat. You don't seem like you're looking forward to it. I got demoted from team captain. Watch the road. <laughs> hey, you do you kind of mean when you play volleyball? I like to win. Oh, believe me, I'm aware. Oh, no, true. Ugh. All I could think about was Susanna. Oh, that's so sad. It's Get not it. her fault. Oh, my God, not the touching. Ah! No, you're doing the camp, okay? If I have to deal with Conrad, then you are gonna show up for your team. Deal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're cute. I uh, really miss TJ. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Uh oh. <laughs> I already know they're gonna be hilarious this season. They're gonna be the comedic relief. Oh my god, what did it say? What did it say? Oh come on. I saw oh, you look at my phone. Don't flatter yourself. Yeah, whatever. Don't look at my phone. You sure Milo's cool? Would you come with me? Of course. Why wouldn't he be? We kissed last summer? That last summer. She's like, I'm over it. She's acting like she doesn't care when she's literally had a crush on him for years. Okay, you, you're okay. the one who told me I was on the road. Okay, can you not yell at me right now, please? Uh, no. <laughs> she's so cute. I love her this season. Like, what? What is Mr. I don't believe in college having an existential crisis? <laughs> God, does he even know what existential means? <laughs> Steven. Not everyone measures people's worth by what ivy they go to. Then again, you are the guy who berated his grieving sister in front of an entire party, so maybe it'll fit right in. Ooh, Taylor with the sharp insult. Kaden. You guys went to the store? Oh, he went surfing? Uh, we actually thought about leaving, but then we decided not to listen to you. He gave Damon vibes right there. I want to be there when you talk to Dad, so you'll have to let us use our trusts. Both? Our trusts. Oh. No more doing everything alone. See, I love that. I just wish Conrad would let your help. He never includes him in anything. Am I turning to Team Jer? I'm scared, y'all. I just don't understand what is happening. Why does Conrad shut people out? <laughs> Taylor's outfit is so cute. Oh, I want some Cheetos now. Oh, his feelings are hurt. It's just sometimes it feels like you think that you're better and smarter than everyone, including me. Aww. Taylor, I don't think that at all. I think you're one of the smartest people I know. Aww. Whatever, I mean, I definitely am. <laughs> you probably really think I don't care about Susanna's death. Aww, Steve. I miss Susanna. Uh. You know, but I'm also, like, really excited for Prince to live. Everyone processes things differently. My therapist says that happiness and grief can coexist. <laughs> Not them being so cute this season. Oh my god, ew, I hate the lighting. Hold on. Oh, Steven. Steven reminds me so much of somebody I know, and it makes me so, like, not uncomfortable, but it's like they make the same facial expressions, and I'm just like. <laughs> oh no, oh no. 
They don't exactly know we're coming. What? Conrad didn't actually ask me to. So we just drove all day to show up somewhere uninvited? Look, I wanted to be there for them, all right? So I invited myself. Oh, no. It's like, whatever happens, just please don't take it personally. Like, even I can tell that the Fisher boys love you to death, Steven. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> she eating his Cheetos? Changed my seat setting. No, the car is like. No, it's not the car, it's <laughs> you. Don't play my car. <laughs> They're cute. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know I was going to love them this season, but the, the chemistry, the dynamic, it's great. It's a fun time. Dad should be calling soon. Do you guys want to talk to him alone? I can wait no, upstairs. Stay. stay. You helped me and Jake get this far. And plus, it's your house as much as it is ours. Oh. Hey, Con. I only got about a few minutes here. I got a heads up from the bank telling me you're trying to access your trust. That's not going to happen. Why would he not let them access their trust? It's their trust. And they're almost... 18, right? For your future. I'm not gonna let you blow it on a beach house. Just want me to beg, Dad? Because I will. I will. I'll do it. The call came early in the morning. No. No, no, no. I should have known it was bad oh news. Oh my god. Bad news is the only kind that really can't wait. Guys. No chair. Crap. Oh my if god. You know, oh no. People sobbing who barely knew her. It was exactly what I expected. Except. No, no, what, what, what? This was the song that she always asked me to play for her. Stop, stop. Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Excuse me. I made a promise to myself at that moment. I would not leave his side for the rest of the day. Oh my god, my heart. I, I'm like, I'm not doing well. If you want to head upstairs, I can bring up a plate of food to you. Girl, please. No. The dress is too small for you. Why don't you wear the one I left down on your bed? Bruh. Um, this was Susanna's favorite. I wore it for her. Oh. Uh, one of those is for Jer, right? I'll just go up and take it to him. Okay. Have you seen Conrad anywhere? Yeah. She's holding it together yeah, pretty well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, thank you. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Who the, the frick is that? Excuse me? Thanks. Really? Absolutely not. Not today. Really, Connie? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Here we go. 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 Let go. Ooh. Ooh. Belly, that was just Aubrey. She was helping me. Aubrey? You'll accept her help, but not mine. Got it. Glad to know where I fall in the ranking of ex-girlfriends. Oh, snap. Grow up. Go to hell. Oh no, not the phrases they always use. I should have known you'd be like this. What is she being like? She's hurt. I knew it was a bad idea starting something with you. Oh! He did not just say that. I don't believe you. I don't either. Why would you say that? It was a huge mistake. I hate you. Good. I never want to see you again. <gasps> Stop. Oh my god. That was like watching their past placed all in this funeral. Ooh. I had my lawyers look into any possible loopholes right after the funeral. Okay. Excuse me, what? Wait, so you've known we're losing the house since the funeral? Oh my god. I'm just as upset as you are about it. No, he's not. Dad, you never cared about it because you never cared about mom. Oh. Really appreciate the attempt here, but this is the end of the conversation. Dude. Conrad was right. Talking to you is pointless. Ooh. Oh, God. This is a rough episode, you guys. I'm not doing well. I'm sweating. I'm in this box. It's dark. Everything is bleak. Surprise! <laughs> they come in all happy sunshine. We should have told them we were coming. <laughs> I brought you blueberry. <laughs> Glad you're here. I love Steven this season. I hated him last season, but I love him so much this season. He's giving me, like, comfort character. Right. <sighs> Jerry! Oh, God! 
I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Oh, it's not the same show. It's not the same show. Sorry about this morning. I'm scared that you guys were gonna see me fuck everything up. I had Julia was a stretch, but I really thought I could convince Dad. Does he still not know? You know, I just feel everyone's slipping away, and, and the house is the last thing tying us together. I'm gonna figure something else out. What else can they do, though? It's such a beautiful house. Look how beautiful they are in front of it. Like, I just. You're on the open house tomorrow. Fuck it up. <laughs> Fuck it up. That's funny. What are they gonna do? Throw a party? Like, I don't understand. Thank you, Billy. Um, no. We don't get to do this after that fight at the funeral. She said she ruined Susanna's funeral? Was that what it was? Well, you snooze, you lose. You can sit on the floor now. Get you... off the couch. Just oh let her Oh my god, it. fine. I love Taylor. <laughs> Never thought I would say that in my life, but I love her. I only ordered one with pineapple, so I called dibs on two slices, right? Jeremiah, I think that's all you. <laughs> <laughs> now he's cereal milk guy and pineapple pizza guy. Jer. Oh, I'll talk to him myself. Why was Aubrey comforting him? I'm not going to eat a thing until you let me off. Was it just a moment of weakness? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm already married to him. Is she the one that guides him through his panic attacks or something? Oh, 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 baby! Where's, Where's Cleveland? Cleveland? Conrad, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm happy Conrad. Stephen saw. Oh, God, he's gonna pass out. Oh! Sometimes, ah! sometimes, 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 ah! Oh, my God, you guys. The level of distraught that I am right now is not okay.